Welcome back to the channel guys, today I want to talk a little bit about Swipe and um, we have been discussing this on the channel over the past week or so but I feel it's fit to give you an update on this. Um, it's a new week, it's Monday, uh, we have seen uh, some uh, a bit of a price increase, uh, we did get a breakout that I spoke about the other day and uh, I just want to let you know what I'm thinking now about this, I also want to give you a little quick run through of this project because I haven't done that on the channel yet and I feel you know maybe yeah this is this is the time to do it all right guys so uh just quickly looking at the chart all right there is um obviously uh, I've been saying that I want to see a bounce off this level I did project that um after we saw um this rejection down here uh sorry up here I did project that you know we could get um it, it come all the way down to the previous level of support all right or, or, or what was previously resistance which is now becoming support okay if you look on the one hour you can say I was saying that I wanted to get a bounce off here which we haven't had a strong bounce yet but we can see that it is holding that support um, what I'd like to see is it uh, begin to you know reverse to the upside and kind of take that level back break through that and continue to the upside um, I, I, I wouldn't want to see it break down through that level of support if it did however okay if it did break that level of support so ne the next level we'd be looking at which it would really need to hold in order for me to uh, remain bullish in the short term because i am bullish in the long term but we, this is a short term perspective now we would need to see it hold this level okay and this is trading the horizontals all right no patterns right now but um yeah if it did take out this level i need to see it get a bounce off there and uh, maybe that could be the one that takes it up but preferably a bounce from here would be uh, better okay you can see that the MACD on the four hour does look like it wants to curl up for a cross but you can't see um, you, you can't um, confirm that until it actually does cross okay so um, it could just come curl up and then kind of touch the red line and carry on to the downside a little bit further so we always want to wait for the uh, the confirmations um, if, you, if you're taking a new position now you could buy based on the fact that it is uh, bouncing off support definitely a good buy area and, and clearly it is holding that level so there are the, uh, the buyers orders are coming in the RSI is looking in the neutral zone um, it's, it's not you know um, it could go down further all right if you can see we have been holding this level on the RSI for a little while we put a line in there we can see it is holding a support level on the RSI so if it does fall under that then there's potential for it to go further to the downside okay right so that's my analysis um, for the short term obviously for the long term I do believe they can go and that, that swipe is gearing up for a big move all right with all the news co um, coming out it's definitely something to look at um there was an announcement on the telegram that uh the staking is actually coming to binance and that's going to be on the 23rd of august you get up to 12 percent on that that's that's definitely something that's going to bring holders into the market and there's also uh the perpetual contracts which are available for trading on gate oil all right so that's uh another thing that um will bring um, a lot of volume into this market all right now one thing i wanted to talk about because i have mentioned that swipe is a uh, a competitor potentially for crypto.com coinbase and so on right um uh, wh why do i say that uh, because obviously you got the card payments and whatnot right now if you don't know what swipe is okay what is swipe right it's basically a banking app okay and it does actually look really really good guys um it's it's owned by binance or right? they bought they bought the company i believe it has utility and it's definitely uh, got a long way to go in my opinion one of the things that is attractive if we, we talked about the, the the competition um the potential competition with like the likes of crypto.com now crypto.com does offer uh, spotify and netflix um what do they do they offer like you're able to claim your 
your subscription fees back on Spotify and Netflix with uh, Crypto.com and you use their cards, right? Um, so that's not exclusive anymore because it's also available on the Swipe Network, okay? Well, not only Spotify and Netflix, you've got Apple Music, Travala.com, Uber, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Starbucks, and Airbnb, all right? So you're getting benefits and perks with all of these. You know, these are not small names, right? <laughs> so that's definitely something to, to take into account when thinking about investing in Swipe, you know, who are they connected to, who have they got partnerships with. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, big news. You know, we recently saw um, an, a partnership with Chainlink as well. So um, obviously, you know, Chainlink is like one of the hottest projects in, in the crypto space at the moment. So, yeah, there's definitely uh, a lot of promise there and a lot of benefits and perks that would uh, entice users into this space and, and into using this Swipe card over one of the other cards. Now, I am a fan of Crypto.com. I do believe that they're gonna gonna go far, all right. And um, if you're not signed up to Crypto.com, there is a link in my description. And when you do sign up, you do get fifty dollars. And I would also get fifty dollars for referring you if you use my referral link, all right. And you can support the channel that way as well. Um, I'm not sure whether Swipe um, has any um, sign up bonus because I haven't seen it, all right. But yeah. It's, you know, it's definitely uh, something to consider with crypto.com. Now, competition is always healthy for this space. It doesn't mean that, you know, it makes the other one irrelevant, okay? Competition is always healthy for business. It, it encourages them to, to push to push um, um, their products. It, it encourages them to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, to um, just drive for more. It's, it's a good thing all right competition is a good thing it's not always a bad thing okay there's room in this game for for everyone to eat to be honest um, being a new asset class what it is and um, there's going to be market leaders not necessarily one market leader all right uh, but market leaders in regards to card payments and uh, banking or whatever all right there's several different cards that you can choose from right and uh, obviously with, with the different cards there's different benefits okay so you get like for example like one percent cash back on this card two percent cash back on that card four percent on that one and um you know with this one obviously there's other benefits that you get three thousand dollars referral rewards um no transact no foreign transaction fees and all, all that sort of stuff all right so there's always a different cost to choose from uh, i think it depends how much you stake and how much you uh how much you're using the card i guess you know when applying for the card which i haven't i haven't ordered a swipe card i do have a crypto.com card so i'm happy with that at the moment um you know when it comes to the perks and benefits like i don't use airbnb i don't use uber i don't use spotify i don't use well i do use netflix but i don't use you know a lot a lot of these things i don't use anyway i'm, I'm not really one of those guys that you know um gets drawn in for those kind of things so yeah I mean, it will attract, um, you know, a lot of people. I'm not one of them. Well, um, obviously, the thing that attracts me with Swipe is, you know, uh, yes, the utility, yes, the partnerships, yes, the uh, the, the fundamentals, um, the chart, of course, you know, the chart attracts me, you know. To me, this looks like it's ready for a big pump to the upside. But like I say, guys, I could be wrong, all right? But I see all this volume coming in and all this volume to me looks good. It looks like, hey, we could soon get a, a, a big push to the upside. And with uh, all the partnerships and with all the news that's coming out recently, with um, the utility and uh, uh, the product just in itself, right? Uh, the design, the layout, everything, you know, um, the, the, the competition, the timing, all of that to me says that this one is one that's gearing up for a move. Now, it's, it's at $3.36. It was $5 only a couple of days ago. Right? Unfortunately, I didn't sell at the top because right? I was holding it. All right? like, like I say, we want to see a bounce off this support level. And um, yeah. I, I, um, if, if it does break through that level I want to see it kind of bounce off the next level okay and uh, that that to me would be uh, something that would uh, be quite pleasing all right so yeah that is swipe um, SXP uh, only a quick video for you this morning um, I mean we didn't kind of, kind of go through this so I will quickly so it's currently ranked 62 on coin market cap I think it get, did get up to like 55 uh, the other day or, or even above that 
um, the market cap is 220 million. I believe it got up to about 289 million or, or a little bit over before we got this correction. All right, but um, yeah, it's like there's no reason why this can't go into the billions, in my opinion. Um, if you look at the compares, for example, crypto.com's market cap is currently uh, sitting at let's have a look about three billion um unless it's changed since i last checked 3.1 billion all right so you know the potential for swipe if it was to match that or even you know get up to a billion two billion um you know in the next uh, months or or years or whatever okay there's a lot of profit potential in swipe there considering it's only at a 200 million market cap all right guys so yeah, definitely something for you to take into consideration there. All right. So, yeah, that's Swipe, SXP. Um, do your own research, guys. I'm not a financial advisor, remember. Uh, but, yeah, I appreciate. Uh, I have got, I have reached more than a 1,000 subscribers now. Pre I appreciate every subscriber, guys. Everyone who commented in, liking, you know, it looks like I've got some of the same people returning a lot and um, showing their love on the videos. I do appreciate that. I've got a lot of birthday wishes from the other day. A lot, of, a lot of happy birthdays from from the viewers all right guys so i appreciate that and uh yeah i'll try and keep the content coming i'll try and keep it the best quality that i can um uh, bring value to you guys so that you can uh kind of profit from that as well and um yeah whether it just be the education whether it be the learning like just getting to, to understand charts a little bit more you know i'm not an expert you know i mean i'm still learning all the time as well I'll never come on here and say that I'm an expert at charting or an expert at, um, you know, um, investing or anything like that. I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm doing. Uh, fortunately, a lot of it is paying off for me. So um, hopefully I can share that and bring some value to this to, to the community and uh, we can all profit together, all right? But don't put a trade on just because I'm putting it on, right? Um, do your own research. Look into these things yourselves and uh, make your own decisions okay i've had messages uh got in the comments saying you know i bought spark point because of you and now i'm down this much it's like well if you bought spark point when i was saying to buy spark point you know we, we were talking about it before it even popped like you know we have to learn about not buying the tops and uh, kind of making an informed decision as to whether we're going to jump into these markets head first you see the market all the way up like this you know, if you put a buy on swipe now, I mean, that's you're buying it based on the fact that it's bounced off at support level. You know, uh, some some might FOMO in and buy it at the top. All right, and it's not advisable if you are going to do something like that. You know, then maybe you should be buying it. You know, you know putting a little bit in because you're you, you know you're not sure if it's going going to go up or not. Um, and then if it comes down a bit, you've still got some you know funds sitting on the sideline to buy a dip. All right, and kind of dollar cost averaging to, to that position and um, you know increase your chance of the profit potential i can't take the blame for anyone you know buying in at tops you know i'd i'd, I'd normally advise people you know uh, just what i'm doing you know um so yeah i can't really take responsibility for that but i do feel the pain of those that have bought tops or, or bought in at the wrong time and had to huddle through a correction because i've been there you know i'm just like you guys i'm a normal person i've been there many times over all right but sometimes you, you make the same mistake more than once and, and you have to kind of come to that place where you're not making the same mistakes okay and even occasionally it does happen you know we all get fomo and um, sometimes you have to uh, discipline yourself into not putting a trade on okay so yeah, that's definitely something that I've learned to do over time. But like I say, every now and again, I might make that mistake, but I've actually also learned to manage my risk, right? And uh, be able to get out when, if, if it doesn't go my way immediately, in a situation like that, it's probably better just to get out, wait for the next opportunity. Sometimes you can lose a little bit of money um, in, in, in any given trade, right? If you, you get out and cut your losses quickly, you can then find a better position potentially and uh you know make that back in a very short space of time as well hopefully you can take something from that what i've said and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel 
do me a favor and do that leave a like and leave a comment down below and i'll see you again in the next video